gonna be walking through how you can spin up a web server on GCP. And we're gonna keep everything on the always free tier here so you don't have to pay for anything, which is pretty cool. And we'll jump into it. So basically I've already created a GCP account and I've created a project within that account. Uh, there's tons of tutorials on how to do that, it's very simple. Uh, and then I've also associated a billing method with my account so I can do this stuff. And so that's where we're gonna be jumping off from. And so I'm at the GCP console right now. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is just click on create a VM. And uh, before you do this stuff, I recommend consulting the uh, documentation that Google has where they basically define uh, their always free tier here. And so um, in our case, we have uh, the rights to an E2 micro VM instance in one of these three regions and we get 30 gigs per month of standardized uh, persistent disk space. And we also get one gigabyte uh, network egress from North America to all regions. And so um, really important to just make sure that you understand what this all means. Uh, so uh, you're not gonna go with some instance type that ends up getting you built or going into some wrong region. Um, so basically right here, um, you know, you can give your instance a name. I'm gonna call this a HTTPD uh, demo. It's a Apache web server. And uh, in our case, we can pick between, you know, what region we want to deploy into. In my case, uh, we're going to stick with Central One because that was one of the ones where we can do this for free. Uh, and I'm going to make sure we're in the E2 series. And specifically, you can see that it defaults to E2 medium, but we want to change this to E2 micro so that uh, this is something that we're not going to get billed for. They will still show you a pricing summary here. So you can see that the E2 micro uh, that we have is going to cost us six dollars eleven cents per month, uh, and then we're also going to get charged for the persistent disk space that's associated with this instance or VM. Um, but because we're staying under these always free tier limits, uh, you shouldn't get a bill at the end of the month, assuming you're not doing other stuff inside of your account. Um, and then we're going to scroll down here. Uh, you can see that. Uh, they default to sticking Debian as the uh, image that's going onto this thing, which is okay. Um, and uh, you know you can mess around with this and try other images and stuff, but do worry that uh, you might get billed if you're using something that uh, isn't approved for that free tier. Uh, and then I'm going to, under firewall here, it's a very important step, allow HTTP traffic and uh, HTTPS traffic. If you don't check these boxes, your instance will spin up, you'll have an external IP address, but when you try to call it, it's just gonna get a bunch of network timeout errors. And then I'm gonna click on create. And so uh, while this thing's creating, it's very important to note that this is something that uh, will take a few minutes, but also uh, I've had a few errors where if I try to go into you know US West one or US East one at the wrong time, they don't have a E2 micro instance available for you. So it'll just sit here indefinitely. So do note that this can take uh, a little while to spin up, but um, you know, I'm gonna come back when this thing is up. It looks like it came up already, which is great. So US Central right now is a great spot to be. Um, and so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be basically just following this documentation. I'll provide links to this so you guys can uh, follow along. We're gonna copy these commands. Uh, the very first of which is basically just gonna be running a, an update on our guy. So we're gonna go here, gonna click on SSH. And so basically what's happening now is within the browser, we're passing SSH keys to authenticate into the virtual machine that we've just created with GCP. That's that E2 micro. So we're gonna give this thing a moment. Okay, and I'm gonna click on authorize. All right, so this is what our console looks like. So we're now remotely controlling that instance we have. And I'm just gonna hit Command V to paste in that first command here to basically uh, run the apt get update and then also install the Apache uh, 2 web server. So we're just gonna give this thing a moment to run. Perfect, and so now that we've installed the Apache 2 service, I'm just going to run this command right here, which is going to let us know that it's active and running, which is perfect. And finally, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna overwrite the uh, default thing here with, uh, so basically we're gonna uh, overwrite the index.html file, so that we're gonna print out like hello world, and I'm just going to uh, run that command, it runs very quickly, and so now, um, if we go back to here, we've got our external IP address, and I'm going to click on this, 
and you can see that it's telling me it can't reach this site. And the reason for that is because it's trying to connect to it via an HTTPS connection by default. So you gotta delete that S and try this again. And you can see that we now have a working free tier uh, Apache web server on GCP with their VM. So that's pretty awesome. Um, we can come in here and uh, try running another thing. So if I SSH back into this guy, give thing a moment. I'll just go back to here. Um, but if I rerun that last command and we wanted to change our index page for whatever reason, um, we can do that. So we can say, hello world from YouTube, run that, we just overrode it. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to our little website, refresh that, and we can see that we now have a, a live little website uh, from our GCP VM. So. Um, that's how you guys do it. When you are done with this thing, I do highly recommend uh, deleting it just so that you know you avoid someone spamming this thing. Uh, DDoS attacks are definitely real. Um, so we can just hit it delete and delete again. And now you don't have to worry about getting billed for it. So um, as this thing's deleting, you can just refresh this to confirm that like, you know, in a couple of minutes or whatever, it's gonna hopefully be done. And uh, yeah, so that's how you clean up when you're done. And that's all there is to it, to spinning up your own free tier, always free uh, VM with GCP. So I hope this helps and thanks for watching.